two. But Kevin Grady, this VCU basketball team has played very well on the road of late. They've won three of their last four away from the Richmond Coliseum. Well, you're right. You can't take this basketball team lightly. They've gotten off to a bad start early in the season, but Sonny Smith is getting them together. He's a fine basketball coach and trying to get these players to work together. These two old rivals playing long before they joined in the Sun Belt Conference. Old Dominion leading the all-time series 19 to 17. In Sun Belt play, Old Dominion leads VCU 10 to 9. Old Dominion winning here last year and in Richmond back in December in the third place game of the time, just back 77 67. VCU wins the tip, and Lionel Bacon immediately shoots over Chuck Evans to open the scoring. Well, Lionel Bacon quickly gets his jump shot. He goes very up high on his shot. Struggling early this year, just shooting 37%, but he's doing a lot better at this point. There you see the zone defense there of VCU. Carver for three, got it. A weapon for which he is known. The three-point shot, and Old Dominion leads 3-2. Now, Bob, we expect to see VCU do just what they're doing here. Ball control, pass the ball around, use the shot clock, not get in a running game with Old Dominion. Elander Lewis, now inside it goes to Hanlon, back to Lewis. The shot clock down to 15 seconds. Driving Weldon to Hanlon, and he lays it in. I don't know if Weldon intended to do that. He really tripped going to the lane, but it became a very nice pass into Hanlon inside. 4-3, VCU. Just underway from school. Keith Jackson in that Old Dominion starting lineup today. He's been struggling offensively. The freshman from Landover. Inside, tipped away. It's off Uli out of bounds. An Old Dominion ball with 24 seconds left on the shot clock. I think Tom Young and his ball club are going to see a lot more zones. As you mentioned, Bob, they're struggling from outside, not shooting well as a team, just 45% as a team. That's not traditional Old Dominion basketball. They're a much better shooting team at in their history. Gadlin draws the double team and throws away the bounce pass. Bacon in transition for VCU, kicks it out to Lewis. Nowhere to go on the baseline, and Evans intercepts. Carver. Rebound, Cyril Cox. Darren McDonald not in that starting lineup tonight for Old Dominion. That ankle he twisted in Blacksburg on Thursday still bothering him. And that is why Jackson is in that starting lineup for Old Dominion. You can see Old Dominion trying to give Chris Gatlin a look. They're going to try to get that ball to him every time if they can. Pop shot over Henlon won't go. Martin clearing to Bacon. VCU pushes it up and Lionel going to work and scores. Lionel Bacon's very tough in the open court. He's the one returning starter from last year. And he can definitely score points in a hurry. He had 24 against Old Dominion last year. Inside, Sir Cox taken away by Lionel Bacon. So the man from Louisville making things happen for VCU. Henlon firing, heading, and the Rams lead 8-3. to three. The Big Martin Henlon doing it with his offense, known as a defender. He takes up a lot of space in there, does have a respectable jump shot, as you just saw there. Henlon, one of two seniors on this VCU team, and you talked about him early, Kevin, about his defensive night that he must have tonight, but getting some unexpected points against Gatling to help out the VCU call. Well, on that consolation game, the Times Dispatch Tournament, he got 31 on his face. Right there, Chris Gatlin. And that's the kind of mobility that we were talking about with Chris Gatlin that he has. He can wheel on you and make these good offensive moves. A nice look right there by Anthony Carver. And there, the quick move with his left and then finishes it with a dunk. First and foul on Craig Uli and Gatling will go to the line. He had 31 did Chris and 10 rebounds against VCU in that first matchup. In a play like that, that's where the weak side help has got to come in and try to take the charge, try to clog up things for him. Not all Martin Henlon's fault. He's got to do a good job initially and then his teammates have got to come down and help him. A three-point play by Gatling cuts the VCU lead down to two. Gatling was three of 10 at the foul line at Virginia Tech on Thursday, but hits his first one tonight. 
Old Dominion coming out a little further on their zone defense, trying to create some things for him. Quick shots. Greg Uly on the baseline, a 52% shooter this year. Uly's first bucket, VCU by four. VCU's come in here with confidence, just 10 6 here. Old Dominion does not want VCU to get too much confidence. And a blocking foul on Martin Hemlin. That'll be the first on the 6'10", 252-pound senior. Well, if you're Martin Hillen, you want to take the left hand of Chris Gatlin away. Right there, you see him go strong to his left, gets him with the body. Martin Hillen's got to take away the left hand first and then get on him as close as he can to try to nullify some of that offensive ability of Chris Gatlin. 10-6, VCU on top. Cheryl Cox off his hands and Bacon picks it up. Here come the Rams. They're five for five from the field. Weldon inside pass. Here's Lewis scoring. The Rams haven't missed and lead it now by six. Well, they're running on long missed shots and they're running on steals. And Sonny Smith has got his team thinking just that. If they don't have the break, they'll bring it back, and then they'll work that shot clock down to 45 seconds. So their selection has been very good so far. And VCU executing it to a T. Anthony Carver, a follow shot, won't go. And Hamlin outlets to Weldon. Carl leads a three on three. Carl outside, Bacon. Well, you see Chris Gatling just coming into your picture. Old Dominion's not getting back on defense quick enough. That time, very fortunate. It was a five on four VCU, and they couldn't exploit it. Old Dominion showing a 1-3-1 with Evans on the back line of the zone. Outside Weldon, VCU continues to impress. All five starters have scored, and the Rams lead it 15-6. Weldon's a good-looking player, the 6-3 junior. Had 14 assists against Virginia Tech, so he can do it with his passing, and he can do it with his long-range shooting as Weldon had. Timeout, Old Dominion. As the Monarchs try to cool off an ultra-hot VCU team, the Rams are seven of seven from the field and lead by nine. Those numbers, Kevin Grevy, tell it all here in the opening minutes of this game. VCU seven of seven. The last shot, a three-pointer by Carl Weldon and Old Dominion, two out of six. And Tom Young, just five minutes into this contest, having to burn a timeout. Well, I think they got a late, a late wake-up call here. Tom Young is going to get his troops back together. He's got to because that 7-7 seven seven shooting tells you two things. It tells you that your defense is not getting up on the shooters and that VCU is shooting high percentage shots. So Old Dominion's got to take one of those two things away. Old Dominion with Anthony Carver out front. Shot clock at 17 seconds as Jackson operates. This is Chuck Evans. Bacon out to bother. Shot clock at nine. Eight. Poked away from behind by Lewis. A runner by Carver is an air ball. And Henlon with the rebound. Quick pass to Lewis over Jackson. VCU is eight for eight. 17 to six. Again, Old Dominion not getting back down on defense. Anthony Carver forced the shot that time, and everybody stood around watching. They've got to get back and eliminate some of these early offense of ECU. It's just killing Old Dominion. Evans in the corner, not a Keith Jackson. Carver up top for three. He's in two three pointers, and VCU fans well remember. Last year, Carver established a Sun Belt record with eight three-pointers against the Rams. Home Team Sports was here doing that game last year, and boy, what a hot stroke he had that night. And Starting off that way tonight, Kevin. He's a great shooter, Anthony Carver is. Gatlin batting the pass out of bounds, intended for Uly. Coming in for Old Dominion, number 40, Ricardo Leonard. You see him there. And also into the ball game. Chris Brower for VCU. Henlon going to the VCU bench. Tom Young talking to Cyril Cox and also Chuck Evans on the Old Dominion bench. Lewis kicks it out. Weldon will back it out. Shot clock at 15. Lewis out of the corner. The first miss for the Rams. And Gatling secures the ball for Old Dominion. 17-9 VCU. 13 minutes and five seconds left in the first half. Anthony Carver gambling the offensive rebound. Wentz stuffed it. Well, you 
gets off any it's Chris Gatlin. He gets it on the offensive boards, relentless. He goes after everything, sometimes to his disadvantage. He picks up a lot of fouls that way, but nice patience with the dunk. I like him. He's a very nice player. Lewis outside. Chris Brower had a big game at Jacksonville for VCU. Here's Yuli on the baseline. Rams have suddenly cooled, and the Monarchs scrambling to get back in this one. Here's Anderson. Of course, the way Anthony Carver can shoot three pointers, <laughs> you're never really too far out of it. That's for sure. He'll shoot him from NBA range. Jackson. And the freshman continues to struggle from the field. Nice bounce. Lewis too strong. Well, they had a three on two break. Just couldn't convert it. Lewis just put it up too hard. If I were Old Dominion, I'd try to get the ball down to Chris Gatton. Last two possessions, they really didn't get anything. They should work the play for the big fella. Try to keep him involved. Inside it goes to Gatling, but he couldn't control it. Out comes Weldon to the basket. Short. Tip Lewis no. Gatling the rebound. Baseball's it ahead to Anthony Carver. Uly covering the three well. <laughs> 17 11 VCU. 11 30 left in the first half. Inside Gatling. Reverse lane. Behind the head for Gatlin. Well, if you get behind Chris Gatlin, forget it. Bad position defense there. Chris Gatlin can exploit you in a real hurry. Old Dominion within four. Lewis, here's Brower outside, and he hits oh. a three-pointer. Well, BC is really playing inspired basketball. They only missed two field goals. They're playing great. Carver for three. Lewis the rebound. Rams push it up. Weldon. Brower's open out of the corner. Two for two, another three-pointer. Brower's a shooter. He hit the first one, and then he just called, started calling for the second one. Two straight three-pointers right there. Gives them a nice lead, 23-13. Back to 10. Inside Leonard, we've got a foul on Anderson of Old Dominion as he ran over Bobby Reddish. That's the first foul on Donald Anderson. Here you're going to see Anderson just take the ball, put his shoulder down, plow right into Reddish. He's got to come to a jump stop there. You see him float in the air. When you leave your feet like that in the lane, a very good chance of getting the offensive foul. An official stop out on the floor. VCU with a 10-point lead over Old Dominion. Now we're back at the scope, and you're going to see Old Dominion get the ball into their big center, the leading scorer in the Sun Belt, Chris Gatlin. And once he gets it, watch the move he makes. Boom. Quick to his left. And now he finishes it with a reverse shot. He goes in between the two defenders. That's just a beautiful, beautiful move. Not much VC you could do about that, Bob. Not much anybody could do about a <laughs> move like that. You saw the weak side help coming from uh, Chris Brower, and Gatling just splits the defenders and rendered everybody helpless. But VCU is rendering Old Dominion helpless the way they're shooting the basketball. VCU continues red hot, 10 out of 15 from the floor, and they've hit three three-pointers and lead by 10. And now Evans knocking the ball away from Brower, but Chris gets it back. Old Dominion's gone into a man-to-man -man defense. Try to pick up the tempo on their end, and you usually do it with your defense. Try to get a steal or force a bad shot. Inside, Gatling with a foul as Reddish was on his way to the basket. Number one on Gatling tonight. And Bobby Reddish will shoot a couple of free shots. Bob, we were talking about Chris Gatling, and he's such an active player. He's very active on offense. We've seen some outstanding moves on the defensive end. He's active, and when you are like that, you have a tendency to get in fouls. I see him get a lot of net picking fouls. He's got to play a little better position defense and pick his spots for his block shots. He can really hurt the ball club sitting on the end of the bench. He needs to be out there getting those minutes. Reddish from Alexandria, 6'7", 220. It's the second after missing the first, and VCU ups the lead to 11, 24-13. But Kevin Gravy with you from Scope tonight. Glad to have you with us here on Home Team Sports. He 
can see the zone defense of ECU way out there. Should open up things in the middle. Gadling dumps it off to the breaking Anderson. The shot rejected by Reddish. A great defensive play. Now it's VCU on the attack, and Brower backs it out. Well, this is a great game plan instructed by Sonny Smith. Run when you can and back it out when you can't. It's just textbook. You know, they, they got the fast break. When they got the numbers, they take it. Give them what the defense takes. And Reddish tied up by Ricardo Leonard. There's Ricardo Leonard, number 40 for Old Dominion. And Kevin, I want to ask you about the VCU game plan mm -hmm. and the change of styles. You're going to see the block here by Reddish. Nice pass by Chris Gatlin. But then Reddish comes out of nowhere from the baseline to block that shot. That's standing ability there. When you've got a basketball club like VCU with so many newcomers and a brand new coach with his system and his style of play, and Sonny came out and said that they want they want to run and, and be exciting and get up and down the floor. Then to have to change styles to suit the, the players that he's got on hand is that a difficult transition to make, going from fast to slow rather than the other way around? You better believe it is. It's a very difficult thing to do. The players want to run. That's what the kids want to do. That's what they did in high school. Their athletic ability to take over. But Sonny Smith doesn't see the talent here to run, run, run all the time. So they have to be more selective. And it's starting to pay off for them. Now when they pull it back, they can play the half-court game. And what they run, they know that they're, they have the ability to do that. Donald Anderson with the basketball for Old Dominion. Now to Chuck Evans. VCU expanding that zone. Bob inside to Gatling, muscles away, gets fouled, and Reddish charged with the personal. Not bad execution there by Old Dominion. They were able to work the ball down to Chris Gatlin. Martin Hinlin is fronting him now, trying to keep the entry pass from getting into number 25 there, Chris Gatlin. And now he's really got to rely on his VCU teammates for help. The lob pass now is susceptible. Anthony Carver strips the course. Eight points for AC. And VCU leads by 10, 25, 15. You cannot let Anthony Carver get his feet together and shoot the ball. You have to be up on him. Pressure. And VCU now setting up its offense with Chris Brower, a freshman from Fort Walton Beach, Florida, getting more and more playing time for Sonny Smith here of late. Came out of high school as a well-regarded outside shooter, and he's put that on display with two three-pointers here in the first half. Another attempt. Too long this time. Rebounded by Carver. VCU leading by 10. Well, the way Carver pulls up shy that three-point line, you see the defensive players just continually run at him. They know what kind of range he's got on that three-pointer. Well, wherever he is, you have to shade him. And you look at the zone defense. When Anthony Carver runs the baseline, there's always one guy on him. You've got to be out on him no matter how far he is on the court. Cox, off balance, missed the shot, rebound Brower. VCU leading by 10, 25-15. It just shows you how crazy the Sun Belt Conference has been this season. UAB blew VC out in Richmond by 21 two nights ago. Tonight they look like world beaters. This is an offensive foul on Derek Tompkins. The well, junior out of Hopewell, Virginia, with his first foul. You can say this is a good play on Chris Gatlin, but if I were Chris Gatlin, I wouldn't be doing this. Here he is moving and then taking the blow from Tompkins. That could have easily been a, a foul on Chris Gatlin. That's a judgment call. He shouldn't put himself in that position. A timeout here in Norfolk with VCU leading Old Dominion by 10. One of the great races in college basketball this season is the Colonial. Navy with a monumental upset at Richmond the other night has thrown that race wide open. Kevin, a five-way tie for first. Yeah, how do you figure it? It's incredible. Richmond, you feel, would be a favorite. James Madison, a clear-cut favorite. They're down. The lefty can't get them together. Now it's a five-way tie. Old Dominion basketball and the Monarchs trailing by 10. 7-10 left in the first half. Keith Jackson. To Anthony Carver. Sonny Smith wanting Carl Weldon to get his hands up defensively. When Carver had the ball, now AC in the corner. Inside, Chris Kerwin giving Gatling a breather. Shot clock at three. Oh, my! He nearly hit it. The shot clock was winding down. Carver had to launch it from about 30 feet. And Chris Cyril Cox is called for the foul inside. 
No, Anthony Carver, that's still within his range. Anthony Carver doesn't mind shooting the last year. Last man who took a shot from this range was Kevin Grieve. <laughs> Sonny Smith could have given him a high five right there. He was <laughs> his heel was right next to Sonny. That had to be a 35 foot jump shot. That shot clock was expiring and of course yeah, he, he had, to had, had to let it go. VCU continues to shoot well. They are 10 of 16 from the floor. Old Dominion 6 of 17. VCU's at 3 out of 4 from 3 point range. Old Dominion coming with some half court trap. Now they're going to fall back into that 1-3-1. One, one. Carl Weldon. Uli. They work it around the perimeter. Lewis. High post handling. Martin shooting. Missing. Tip no, and we've got a rebound foul. And this one's going to be called on Yuli, uh, I believe. That was a good ball movement by VCU. They were whipping that ball around the perimeter. Finally got it down to Hinlin. He wasn't able to get it down. Then the foul. Old Dominion's got to do exactly the same thing. Sonny Smith keeps changing up his defenses. He's been going 2 3, man to man, and a 1 3 1. They're presently in a man to man. You have to almost guess every time they come down. Now they're back into the zone. So the confusion certainly lies with Old Dominion. They have to figure out the defense and then attack it. Of course, you wonder, too, without having the senior guard and leadership of Darren McDonald out there, what kind of an effect that had. There's a three-pointer for Keith Jackson. VCU does a good job disguising what defense they're in. They'll set up like they're in a man, and then when you start to attack them, they'll jump into a zone. So the confusion definitely there. The point guard has got to recognize it and attack it. Elander Lewis outside, Lionel Bacon missing the three. Lewis the offensive rebound. Pass inside, a great one to Uli, and he lays it in. Well, Lewis made that happen. Just a beautiful look inside. He's doing it with a the shooting. There the offensive rebound and a nice pass. A good looking player. 27 18, BCU with 5.15 left. Now we've got a whistle and a travel against Chuck Evans, and that gives the ball over to BCU. Tom Young immediately going to the bench, and he'll insert Donald Anderson for Evans. And the Rams make changes as well. Bobby Reddish coming in. And Craig Uli will go to the bench. Old Dominion has turned it over six times here in the first half. We talked about Darren McDonald, a sore ankle. Has kept happy. him on the bench. <laughs> Not a happy camper at all. He wants to be out there, no question about it. But that ankle is going to keep him from playing. We might see him today. He's, he's just listed doubtful. Carl Weldon. Now in the corner with it is Reddish. Back up top to Dwayne Gardner, who's in the game number 14 for VCU. Shot clock at eight, seven. Lewis for two. Gatling had the rebound, pumped away from him, and a foul on Reddish on his back. Bobby tried to knock it out of his hand and made contact. And Reddish, who's done a fine job inside for VCU in this game, coming up with his second foul. I'm sure Sonny Smith doesn't mind that foul. He wants Reddish to go to the offensive boards. And Bobby did just that and picked up the foul. But you need your big guys attacking those boards, trying to help out wherever they can. 27 18, VCU. 425 left in the first half. It's Chris Gatling inside. Knocked away by Lewis, picked up by Henlon. Three on one with Jackson back. The reverse high, no. But the follow by Lewis is good. Boy, Lander Lewis really knows where the ball is. It's six four, the transfer from St. John's. Active basketball player. He's a leading scorer, 15.5 a game. You can see why. The Rams lead by 11 at the four minute mark. Carver. AC, three pointer. Lewis the rebound. Ahead it comes to Weldon. BCU pushing it. Weldon drops it off to Lewis. A lot of congestion in that paint, and Lewis's shot won't go. VCU defense is really active. You know, they're playing the zone with man-to-man -man principles. Everybody's got their hands up, and they're really coming after the ball, particularly Anthony Carver. He hasn't been able to get that open shot. Even at, from the range he's shooting from, they're still coming out on him. Donald Anderson. The least amount of points 
But Old Dominion has scored in a half this year was 26. Jackson missing. Rebound by Garner. So another statistic in the favor of your comment, Kevin, about the BCU defense. The Monarchs have scored but 18 here in the first half tonight. And continued bad shooting by Old Dominion. They just can't see him. Anthony Carver, Chris Gatlin can carry the load, but you got to have your other guys step up and hit those shots. Keith Jackson, number 23 from Old Dominion, an outstanding shooter, but this year just shooting 30%. Lewis got it. A lander, Lewis with eight. He was just six of 17 from the floor against Old Dominion in that game of the Times Dispatch, but now everything looking up for VCU. 31 18 Rams. Gatlin around Henlon, trying to dish it to Kerwin, picked out of there by Weldon. Three on two, Rams break. Weldon to the basket, blocked by Jackson. Out of bounds and Old Dominion ball. Cyril Cox coming in for Old Dominion as Tom Young makes another change. To try to solve the VCU puzzle, right now it's all Rams. VCU 31 and the Old Dominion Monarchs 18. We'll be right back. Old Dominion, Kevin, down at that 35 percentile, 7 of 20 from the field, and VCU. 13 out of 25. They started the game hitting their first eight shots and have not looked back. They've built a lead that now stands at 31 to 18. Donald Anderson. Now to Keith Jackson. That bad shooting has just been the good defense of VCU. You see Old Dominion not getting into the attack area until here, 15 seconds left on the shot clock. This is playing right into VCU's hands. Eight seconds on the shot clock, seven. Jackson hits it. A nice shot by Jackson. He took the ball, one dribble, split the defenders. But it takes tough shots. When the shot clock's running down, the defense gets tighter and tighter. I think Old Dominion needs to attack that defense a lot sooner. Brower back out to Dwayne Garner. Inside Gatlin coming from behind to get in front of Henlon and pick off that pass. Good defensive play by Fritz. He's a lot quicker than Henlon and he was able to jump right. The ball was deflected but he was able to get the position and jump right in front. Very active player as we mentioned. 6-9 Chris Gatlin. Chris kicks it to the corner. Carver for three. Rebound Jackson up and in. By the freshman who really has struggled Kevin shooting just 33 percent from the floor has come up with a couple of big buckets here as Old Dominion's cut it to nine. Jackson's a good looking player. Those last two baskets show the kind of skill that he has. And I think just a matter of confidence. He averaged 31 points per game at Milford Academy last year. No doubt that he could score. Gatling tips it away. Anderson moves in to Chris. on the defensive end. And another VCU turnover. And at the half, that would not have counted had it gone. So Sonny Smith's Rams had a pretty comfortable lead, but a late flurry led by the defensive work of Chris Gandling has cut the VCU lead down to seven at halftime. We're at the break at Scope in Norfolk, Virginia. Halftime total, it's VCU 31 and Old Dominion 24. We'll be back. Welcome back to Scope in Norfolk, Virginia. Bob Rathman, Kevin Greedy with you. Sunbelt Conference basketball as VCU leads Old Dominion 31 to 24. And a look at the halftime statistics and the shooting percentage weighted heavily in VCU's favor. The Rams doing a great job hitting their first eight tonight and finishing at 54 percent on 13 out of 24. The Rams were three of six from three point range. Old Dominion, Kevin down there at 40 percent at 10 out of 25 and three of 11 from three point range. Carver three of 11 
from the field and Chris Gatling only five shots. You're right. Uh, now Anthony Carver's got to get a little better shot selection and the team has got to get the ball to Chris Gatling a little better. And also when you look at the Monarchs you see Gatling Carver and Jackson those are the only three scorers on Old Dominion so they're not getting good balance scoring and Lander Lewis leading VCU. And Lander hitting four out of eight from the field for eight. All five starters scoring for VCU in the first half. And Chris Brower coming off the bench to nail a couple of three pointers. Turnover story Old Dominion with nine and VCU with five in the first 20 minutes of play. So Sonny Smith, his basketball team with a double digit lead in that first half and leading by seven as Old Dominion has the ball at midcourt to start the second half. I'm interested to see how Old Dominion is going to come out here. They're going to have to really attack the basket and they're going to have to make their defense work for them. They're going to have to create some things for them. They've been very listless here in the first half. The second half should be a different story for Old Dominion. Chuck Evans inside to Cyril Cox. And it batted away and picked out of there by VCU. Carl Weldon with the steal. And a travel on line L. Bacon. Cox came over to pressure defensively. Bacon hit the brakes and moved that pivot foot. Sure did. Bacon was a little bit out of control on that time. Cox, on the other hand, the turnover, bad turnover. You do not want to start the half or come out of a timeout or start a quarter with a turnover. You want to be patient and get a good shot. So Cox out, Leonard in, and Ricardo shoots immediately and misses. With Leonard Uli with a rebound. Leonard has given Tom Young nothing. He was zero. He did not get a rebound in the first half in seven minutes, so he's got to get more active. Leonard well Outside Weldon. Nice patience by VCU. They're moving the ball very nicely. And that'll be a foul on Jackson as he bangs into Lionel Bacon. First foul on the freshman from Landover. Product of McKinley Tech. One of the first things you learn as a defender, as a young player, is you don't want to leave your feet. You might leave at the shooter, but you don't want to leave your feet when you're playing defense. He did that and got a foul. Landon Lewis, the trigger man for VCU. A minute into the second half, neither team has scored here in the period, and now Carver fouls Lewis. Old Dominion went into a trap that particular possession. Jackson and Carver trying to trap Lewis in the corner. I would expect to see more of that. A lot of trapping. VCU's got to be very patient, careful with the ball. Carl Weldon triggers to line L. Bacon. <laughs> Lewis guarded by Carver on the cut. Line L. Bacon, no. Rebound, fought for, and Carver clears to Chuck Evans. Neither team has put any points on the scoreboard here in the second half. Carver breaks for the bucket and the pass behind him. Good. The freshman and the senior misconnecting. Oh, when it goes bad, it gets worse sometimes. And Old Dominion has not been able to figure it out. Their chemistry is not there. And Sonny Smith's got to be happy about his start here. Two-time SEC Coach of the Year with those Auburn Tigers. Uli outside with it, Weldon, and on the wing. Carver got a piece of it, but Lewis retrieves. Shot clock at 25 seconds. Hemlin draws Gatling out from the basket. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Evans can't get the pass. Scoring is Carl Weldon. Nice post-up move by Weldon. He's a lot bigger than the guards for Old Dominion, and good patience there by VCU. Brought the big guys out. Had Weldon post up down low. 33 24 VCU. Tipped away. Evans gets it back inside to Gavlin, and we've got Lewis claiming the ball but taking it out of bounds. Boy, three black shirts around Gavlin. Donald Anderson back in for Old Dominion. And going out of the game is Chuck Evans. And VCU is just going to continue that double team on Gatlin and make sure they stay out on Carver and try to make someone else beat you. And that's how Old Dominion's been having their problems this season. It's been the Evanses and Keith Jackson, Ricardo Leonard. Those guys have just not been responding. 
three-pointer won't go for Carver. Weldon. Lewis in the corner. VCU with a nine-point lead and everything going their way. Uli. Anderson leads the Old Dominion break. Outside, Keith Jackson. Inside, Ricardo Leonard. And he draws the foul. This one will be on Martin Henlon, number two. Second on the senior, who is making a homecoming of sorts tonight. He played his high school basketball in Chesapeake, just down the road at Deep Creek High School. He was a foreign exchange student from Birmingham, England. And an all-state player here in the Commonwealth of Virginia in high school. Bobby Reddish is back in for VCU. And Craig Uli heads to the Ram bench. 33-24 VCU. Monarchs looking to get on the board here in the second half. Tom Young and the Monarchs trying to put a round ball in a round basket. <laughs> Has not been easy. Sometimes that basket gets smaller and smaller. The shooters have just got to keep stroking it. You work very hard in your offense to get the shots, and you just can't hesitate. You've got to take them. Gavin left it short, tipped out to Jackson. Offensive rebound, hot potato. Reddish for VCU. Up to Weldon. Nice bounce pass. Bacon backs it home. There's Lionel with six. Old example. Dominion trailing by 11 now. Old Dominion's got to get back on defense again. It's, they're just getting beat, out hustled, out rebounded. They're going to have to find a way to regroup. One way to do it with shots like that. Anthony Carver, known for that three point stroke, and get the ball down to. Chris Gatlin, one-two punch. He's hit three three-pointers tonight. VCU leading by eight, 35-27. The first points of the Monarchs in the second half, almost four minutes into the period. Out of bounds, and the ball belongs to Old Dominion. Last touch down on that baseline by VCU's Bobby Reddish. Craig Uli is in, and Reddish goes out. In fact, changes both ways, and we'll recap them for you when we come back in a moment. 15.41 left in the second half here at Scope in the Sunbelt game. VCU continues to lead Old Dominion, 35-27. VCU with buckets from Lionel Bacon and Carl Weldon here in the second half. Old Dominion getting that three-pointer from Carver. Kevin, their only basket in five tries here in the second half. Well, continued bad shooting by Old Dominion uh, in the first half, shot 40%. This 27 percent from the three-point range, and it continues on. You wonder when the Old Dominion might pull the trigger and go with some full-court pressure, three-quarter court, just to change the tempo of the basketball game. Still a long way to go, though. 15-30, and Old Dominion trailing by eight as they attack the D.C. Rams. Been very impressed with the D.C.U. execution of this game. And usually, your defense can keep you in the games. So if you're a bad shooting team, or if you have a bad night. Your defense can be consistent. That's one area that can be consistent, and it hasn't been for Old Dominion. Therefore, they're off to a bad start this year, just six and seven. A team expected to um, finish up top the Sun Belt. The Monarchs began the season with some injury problems. Three key reserves out of the lineup to start the season. Now everybody back, and the Monarchs still trying to put the pieces together. Near steal by Anderson. Bobby Ruddish plays to Elander Lewis. Elander hasn't scored in the second half after picking up eight first half points. Works on Anthony Carver. Well, VCU uses the whole court. You see how they attack one side, bring it up top, and then swing it to the other side. That takes a lot out of Old Dominion, playing the defense, playing the passing lanes, and eventually things will open up for you. Shot clock at seven. Inside, Ruddish had it knocked away, and out of bounds goes Keith Jackson. And VCU will get the ball. Now the shot clock will reset. And that's a key because it was down to four. Well, Reddish has the ball come right out of his hands. And there you see his foot on the end line. Now he Tom, ball. Tom Young at midcourt is questioning why the clock was reset. But it is reset to five, not to 45. 
possession was not gained by Jackson on the baseline. So it is reset to five and not 45. When they, they gave the initial signal, it was to reset to 45. There's an air ball by Lewis, and it's out of bounds to Old Dominion. Kevin, when you shot a few bricks, you know, the one or two that you had in your career, and the fans started yelling air ball at you, how did you react? Very sheepishly. I'd run back down the floor. I, I didn't appreciate the comments. And it's a very embarrassing uh, situation. If you're in there to shoot and you shoot air balls like that, it's not any fun. Of course, the last time you had an air ball was back in Hamilton, Ohio. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't have too many of them, but when they came, I, I, I remember them. <laughs> you at least drew iron. I mean, hold the mini ball at Carver on the baseline. Jackson back out to Carver. <laughs> 14-10 left in the second half. 35-27, the Rams lead. Inside, Gatlin for the dunk. That's a nice pass. Good look inside. Chris Gatlin, who only had five attempts, four or five in the first half. He's got to get the ball more often in there. Lewis won't get it. Gatlin the rebound. Boy, Bull Dominic can make a run. Here it comes to Cox. Batted out to Gatling. Chris to the bucket. No. Offensive oh, foul, Chris Gatling. What a sequence that was. Chris Gatlin with the charge foul. But it was Chris Gatlin who follows this missed shot. Cyril Cox had an easy, easy layup. Couldn't get it down. Now we're going to see if the defender was in position for this. Looks like he had pretty good position. I don't know. You make the call. <laughs> 35-29. The DC lead is six. Chris Brower in the game for the Rams. Anthony Carver throws it in and tumbles oh into press row. And look out over there. Carver pops up. He ran into his Eddie Webb over there on the far side. The VCU assistant, the former Old Dominion assistant. And everybody okay. Well, take a look at this. He comes plowing in. There you see Eddie Webb getting taken out. Carver, boy, fortunately no one was hurt on that one. The basket counts as we come back live, but now take it away, a turnover, travel. Sonny Smith says, what's going on here, guys? Old Dominion making a run. Monarchs have cut it to six, and the crowd becoming a factor. Dangerous pass, but Anderson's got it. Donald, Cyril Cox, Rainbow for two. Time. Oh, I thought the Rams were going to call time, but Sonny now just calls for play number four. Steal on the wing by Carver, but he couldn't control it. Twice Carver has been playing that passing lane on the wing, almost coming up with a steal. You see the life of the Old Dominion. The fans have certainly given him life because these guys are starting to play a lot better defense now. They're going after, getting their hands up. Watch Anthony Carver almost gets the steal. Tips the ball out of bounds, overplaying Elander Lewis. 35-31, VCU. Here is a foul called on Evans. He and Donald Anderson collapsing on Lionel Bacon. And Anderson is whistled for the foul. I know it's very tempting to go after the ball, but when you come into a trap situation, you have to bend your legs, keep your hands up, and try to avoid fouling. Foul was on Evans rather than Anderson. Trucks first. Lewis inside. And that one knocked off the rim. Yuli puts it in. Good offensive board work by Yuli. Henlon and Yuli take up some space in there. The two big guys doing a good job on the offensive boards. Coming up on the 12 minute mark of the second half. Gadling over Henlon. Air ball. Yuli fights for the rebound and secures it. Well, the, too long. Henlon the offensive rebound. Rejected by Gadling, and that's going to count. Goaltending on Chris Gatlin. Again, Henlon getting on the offensive glass. Somebody's got to check him out. Anytime a shot blocker is underneath the basket, you get the goaltending go. You're going to see the shot. Chris Gatlin 
gets beat underneath. Henlin hustling up, and there's the goaltend. Got to get out front if you want to get the block. VCU leads 39-31. Well, if Old Dominion wants to get back in this game, they got to get it to their star player, Chris Gatling. And this is one possession that they do just that. Chris Gatling gets good inside position right there on Yuli and right up with a dunk. It looks like his fourth dunk of the game, but they need more attempts by Chris Gatling. Their players, his teammates, have got to be more patient and try to get it to that big fellow right there. Beautiful pass that time by Donald Anderson, splitting the two defenders. 39-31 VCU leading. Rams weathering a storm, but Old Dominion getting it in again to Gatlin. This time it's Cyril Cox and high off the window. Gatlin got double teamed and alertly passed it off to Cyril Cox, so he can do it with his passing when he wants to. A six-point lead for the Rams. Derek Tompkins in the corner, draws a double team inside to Yuli. Every time the ball gets into the corner, VCU brings that ball in the corner, there's a double team. So if you're VCU, you try to avoid attacking the ball from the corners, you get that double team right there. Wide open is Weldon. Everybody thought he was going to shoot. Including myself, I thought Weldon was going up with a shot, and he just slung the ball down. You really had no chance to catch that. And a timeout has been taken by the VCU Rams. 11.06 left. And the VC Rams are leading Old Dominion, 39-33. Old Dominion and VCU head-to-head here at Scope tonight with the Rams on top, 39-33. The turnover story here in the game, Old Dominion with 13. Sonny Smith's VC Rams with nine. Old Dominion down six. Anderson penetrating. That ball's kicked. And they'll reset the shot clock. It's good thought on Donald Anderson's part. He had a gap to the basket. Chris Gatlin's man came up on him and he tried to get it to Chris Gatlin. That's another way you can get the ball to your big center. Again, the turnover story here in the ball game and make it 14 now for Old Dominion. We call that an unforced error. The VCU didn't have much to do with that turnover. It's a little, little tennis lingo. <laughs> 10.45 left in the second hand. Bacon outside Weldon Uly. Oh, that VCU perimeter offense, the way they swing it well away from the basket. And that opens up flashes to the middle. It really spreads out the Old Dominion defense when you attack out there high in the perimeter. Old Dominion comes out on them, and then that opens it up for the gaps in the middle. Let's see if they can't get the ball into Henlin or someone flashing inside. Bacon, shot clock down to six. Weldon has got to make it happen. Now Tompkins, yes! Big basket for Derek Tompkins with the shot clock winding down. Derek Tompkins known for his shooting. It's a very good outside shooter. Anderson to the basket. And he draws a foul. Or is it? This, I think, is going to go against Old Dominion. Well, we'll see it. Anderson takes the ball hard to the basket. You see him split to two defenders there. Very nice move. Leaves his feet. Oh, I don't know about that. The defender was moving when he was up in the air. 9.56 to play in the second half. goes to Chris Gatlin. Anderson outside Anthony Carver. 9.45 left of the game. Carver for three. Rebound Cox out to Evans. AC top of the kid. No good again. Out of bounds. Hold the ball. Last touch by Euler. Cyril Cox, he saw him shy away from it. He knew that Newley touched it last and was hoping that Paul Andrzejewski saw it the same way. Cyril Cox working very hard for Tom Young there on the offensive boards, giving him the third chance here at a basket. Gatling outside, Chuck Evans. Gatling the offensive rebound. He'll try it and miss it. And Newley clears, and now we've got a travel on Craig Newley. So all the men is going to get the ball back, Kevin. Tom Young must think there's a lid on that basket. 
Well, it gets contagious when one guy gets cold like that a lot of times another player will see that and then his confidence gets shaky and that's happened all year long. This is the worst shooting Old Dominion team in a long long time coming into the game at 45 percent. And everybody is a golfer on this. Game. Now Anthony Carver finally hitting a three. That makes it a five point VCU lead. For the ninth time this season Carver has had four at least four or more three pointers in the game. Lewis open connects. Well, that's a big pick to come around when Martin Henlon puts body on you. It's like a tree. Lewis with 10 his first second half basket DCU 43 Old Dominion 36 845 to play. Evans outside the Jackson. Chuck will drive to the bucket and in. Oh, great move Chuck Evans he just blasted right around two defenders and saw the lane to the basket. Nice move on his part. DCU by five. You see the time remaining. DCU six of 11 from the floor here in the second half. In it goes to big Martin Hanlon. And that's going to be hold it a travel on Martin Hanlon. Sonny Smith can't believe it. He is saying to Andrew Desky, how can you call that from midcourt when the man under the basket doesn't blow his whistle? Well, I think he's got a legitimate guard here, Sonny Smith. Here you see the double team. Martin Hanlon gets the ball and he's going to fake Chris Gatlin out. And we're going to see if he establishes a pivot foot. His left foot's down. He slipped it. He it was a good call, Bob. He moved that left pivot foot. The eagle eye of Paul <laughs> Andrzejewski. Here's Jackson for three. Cox to Gatlin. The VCU lead is down to three. And this crowd, which had been silent for the most part tonight, now making a lot of noise. Trying to push their Monarchs over the top. Near steal by Carver. Lewis spin move and a shot. Short. Rebound. Foul call. Inside. It's on. Old Dominion. Well, both teams scrapping right now. They're really going to the offensive boards. Neither team particularly hot. A lot of missed shots in there. And this game could be won right on that glass there. Second foul on Cyril Cox. 16 foul on Old Dominion here in the second half. So VCU plays it in from underneath. 7.23 left. Donald Anderson coming in for Old Dominion. And Cyril Cox really working hard inside for Old Dominion, getting a breather. Now the Rams on the cut. Bacon stumbles and recovers. Driving well, kicks it out to Bacon. Shot clock at 30, and Sonny Smith off that bench, directing the attack now. Wants to continue to use that shot clock and get a good shot. When you feel the other team making that comeback, you tend to force things and hurry things. And they're being patient here. Now they're going to have to get in their offense right now. Shot clock at nine. Four seconds on the shot clock. Three, two, tapped away by Carver. And a foul on Anthony Carver as the shot clock was expiring and Tom Young down on his hands and knees. <laughs> well, it's certainly demoralizing for if you're an old Dominion faithful because they play for 44 seconds. Great defense. Henlon throws the ball down. Now they call the foul on Carver reaching over. It may have been a foul, but. Had he just held his position, there would have been no way they would have gotten the shot off. The shot clock would have expired and it would have been Old Dominion's ball. So Bobby Reddish to the foul line for a one and one. And he'll get the bonus. Bobby tonight is three of five at the foul line. His junior college team won a national championship last year at Northeast Oklahoma AM. Second foul shot. No good. Gatlin the rebound. 44 40 VCU. Yeah. And 
Anderson. Inside, Gavin. Doesn't get the bounce. Tipped out to Elander Lewis. The only bad thing about Gatlin taking a shot from 14, 15 feet out there like that, it takes one more big man off the offensive glass. Gatlin doesn't have the ball down low. I think he's got to give it back up. Lewis at mid floor, working on Jackson. Inside Reddish, but coming around was Bacon, so VCU hangs onto the ball. 5.55 to play. VCU leading by four. Out to Bacon. Shot clock at 13, 12, 11, 10. Lewis on Jackson, eight. Lewis firing and hitting. Big bucket for Elanda Lewis. He's got a dozen, and VCU pushes the lead back to six. Well, VCU is showing a lot of discipline these last couple possessions, working the shot clock down, and then, like clockwork, with 10 seconds left, they go into their offense, and they've been able to get some good plays. Jackson left alone. In and out. Offensive rebound. Gatlin hits the deck. And VCU secures the ball. 5-10 left. VCU leading 46-40. Bacon on the side. Out of the trap. Gives it now to Lewis. Cross court into the corner and Lewis. Again, that shot clock melting down. 12, 11, 10. Now it's Weldon outside. Got it by Jackson. It goes to Reddish. He misses the shot. Rebound in the lane. VCU. Line out Bacon. And another 45 to work with. Four and a half to play in the game. VCU by six. Big offensive rebound that time for Lionel Bacon. Takes a lot out of Old Dominion when you do that. You work so hard, work the shot clock down, you get a second attempt at it. That's 45 more seconds you got to play defense now. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Lewis driving. Hits off, no good. Rebound tipped out, controlled by Old Dominion. Anderson brings it up. Doesn't like the look of the Set, so now kicks it to the corner at Jackson. 3.45 remaining in the game. VCU leading 46-40. Old Dominion's going to look to its sure shot from three. Carver or inside to that man, Gatling. He's either going to score or and or get fouled in there, and Hedlin got him on the arm. Well, that's what Old Dominion has to do is the first look, second look. You've got to get it down low. And that's what happens there. Anderson drops it down to him. Had real good position on Hinlin. Hinlin was just too late. Hinlin, who doesn't have good lateral mobility, here just can't recover. He was half fronting Gatlin, and Gatlin's got nice body control, good extension. When he's underneath the glass, when you think you have him pinched and he has no shot, he finds a way to get the ball up on the glass. Chris with 15 and going to the foul line. He can cut the VCU lead in half as Yuli returns. Henlon did the bench with three fouls. Gantling, one of one at the line today. 46-42 VCU. Soft touch for Gantling. His 16th point and an official's time out on the floor. Fasten the old seat belts, folks. We're going to come right down to the end of three-point ball game with 3.34 to go. Bob Rath and Kevin Greavy here at Scope, 46-43, VCU leading Old Dominion with 3.34 left to play. Well, I think Old Dominion has got to make sure they continue to pound the ball down to Chris Gatling. They have to show some patience. Certainly, VCU is showing a lot of patience. And this has been one heck of a basketball game. Oh, that it has. Two old rivals, and VCU trying to get a Sunbelt Road win. They have led the entire basketball game. Coming out, hitting their first eight shots tonight, and their offensive execution has been terrific. Now, in the last three and a half minutes, Old Dominion making a late charge. That's it. You got to play the passing lanes. If you're Old Dominion, get up on your guy. Try to deny that pass. Lewis on the baseline. Uli inside. Missed it. He draws the foul on Gatling or Evans. 
someone banged him on the arm. I think it was Chris. It is. And that's the third foul on Chris Gatlin. 3.06 left in the game and a three point VCU lead. VCU really has had their way here in the second half. The possession, when they get it, they've been working the shot clock off, and Old Dominion has done nothing to try to change that up. And Old Dominion's got to hope that they miss some free throws, get a turnover, they can get back in this game. Just three points down. There's a long time left here. Uli hitting the foul shot. He is now four out of five at the line at Sunbelt play this year. 61% overall. 6'10", junior out of Fayetteville, Georgia. And this one is good. 48-43, VCU keeping Old Dominion at arm's length. Leading by five, coming up on the three-minute mark. Drew Anderson tans, but Donald controlling, working on Lewis. High post is Gatlin. Outside, Carver for three. Rebound. Gatlin with the hook. Score. Chris Gatlin, when he doesn't get it ball down low, he'll go for the offensive class. And Carver with the foul on Weldon. On the pressure defense, Weldon will shoot one and one. An interesting statistic to note down the stretch here, Kevin, is the team foul situation on VCU. To take a look at the Gatling follow. Got to check Chris Gatlin off. He's so active down low, doing a great job on the offensive boards. Very active for VCU has only, and the foul shot is good by Weldon, his sixth point of the game. VCU has only two team fouls. So Old Dominion can forget about the one and one, it appears, for the remainder of the second half. Carl Weldon hitting a boat. VCU is it. Four clutch free throws here inside the last uh, three and a half minutes. 50 45 Rams. Cox shoots. Misses. Tipped by Carver. And we've got a foul on Henlon as he was on the back of Gatlin. But a lot of banging in there. Well, Chris is so fast on his feet, so quick to the ball that he's very difficult to check out. Now everybody wants to make sure they put body on Chris Gatling, but there he gets the position. Good anticipation. He's up there banging and eventually gets hit with the body. Henlin's called for the foul. Third team foul, so Old Dominion must take it in from underneath. 50-45. Pass kicked by Lewis. Old Dominion ball upside court. The defensive ECU is really sagging down on the lap. Henlin's playing right behind Chris Gatlin, and then they send another person on his lap. It's very difficult to get the ball down low to him. Keith Jackson in, Cyril Cox out for Old Dominion. Entry pass up top to Carver. AC has some daylight. Spins it out, no good. Rebound, Uli of VCU. Boy, Carver has got four three-pointers, but his shooting percentage is way down. Weldon up top to Lewis. UCU very content to use all that shot clock. That's the game clock that you see. Shot clock now at 22 seconds. Carl Weldon, very sure ball handler. Pass inside, knocked away by Carver. Stretching out, now poked away from behind. Anderson had it taken away by Weldon. So great defensive plays both ways. Ooh, almost an over and back. Now we've got a whistle and a foul on Chuck Evans. That will be his second. And a minute 20 left in the game. VCU leading by five. And free throws coming up for the Rams. Uli and Weldon have gone four for four down the stretch here. And now Weldon, the junior from Coolidge High in D.C., will shoot a one and one. Weldon, three of eight from the line in Sunbelt play this year. And now two for three tonight, but Lewis with the tip in. Oh, my, 
what a great tip in by Alanda Lewis and VCU leads by seven. Well, someone for Old Dominion was caught napping. That should never happen on a missed free throw. You have to check out on the line. The fans here at Old Dominion not happy with that either. Jackson pumps it up. In and out, no good. VCU the rebound. Now, Uli was down. Carver goes down. A whistle and a foul on Gatling. Will send Lionel Bacon to the line. VCU does not have to take an attempt at the basket. They can finish this game if they continue to make their free throws. They got to have good ball handling, hit their free throws, and this will be a well earned effort on their part. There you see Tom Young, not at all happy with the effort of his players. Lionel Bacon with only six, he came in averaging 10. Great foul shooter, 76%. Seven points for Bacon. At 16 in the overtime win at Jacksonville. And helping cement a VCU road win here tonight. 55 seconds left, and the Rams lead by eight. Bacon, the leading returner scorer from last year, 12 points a game. Not scoring the points this year, but doing a good job overall. Jackson in a double team tipped out of his hands by Weldon. You know, VCU, the new Road Warriors, it appears. Sonny Smith's club on its way to its fourth road victory in five tries. Anderson drives in, gives to Gatling, who lays it home. Timeout, Old Dominion. Chris with 20. But that may be too little too late. Old Dominion, though, down six. 40 seconds left. There's time. But you get into that part of the game, Kevin, where you need the outside shot for three. That's and Old true. Dominion's been ice cold outside. And Anthony Carver has not been able, although he's got four three-pointers in this game, he's not hitting and stroking like we see the old Anthony Carver. Also, Chris Gatlin, they're having a real hard time getting the ball down to him. Once they do, I mean, he's so very effective. He'll score or get fouled. But they also got to make sure that they try on the other end for the steal. Old Dominion's got to go for the steal. If they don't get it foul early and hope that VCU then can miss their free throws. VCU just a 64% free throw shooting team. So they certainly have the ability to step up there and miss some of those free throws. UAB is leading the Sunbelt Conference standings at 5 and 0. Oh. VCU will leapfrog Old Dominion with the victory here today to get back to even in conference play. VCU will have a two and two Sunbelt record if they hang on tonight. Two road wins, two home defeats. <laughs> Strange enough, they're a lot better basketball team on the road. I think they're a lot looser. You know, you're not expected to win when you go on the road. So therefore, a younger team like VCU feels more comfortable. Sonny Smith has got them playing a real good brand of basketball. They run when they have the break. They bring it back when they don't. And they've been making very good decisions. Foul on Anthony Carver will send Lionel Bacon to the line. Third personal on Carver, and Bacon will shoot a one and one. One second elapsed, down to 39 seconds left in the game. What this becomes, though, if you're Old Dominion, you can't lose hope here. It's just two possessions a missed free throw, a three pointer, and then it would cut the gap for the potential missed free throw and another three pointer. So. Old Dominion certainly has one more chance here. They got to hope, though, for the missed free throw. This will be the second lowest scoring game in ODU VCU history. Now Bacon leaves the door open just a bit for Old Dominion. Down by six. That's two three pointers. Carver stripped of the ball and fouled by Lewis. So he landed with a foul and. Boy, the one thing you don't want to do is stop the clock for Old Dominion. No, you don't. You want to make sure you keep the clock running. VCU does not want to stop that clock. That can set up a play now for now, Old Dominion. Old Dominion arguing, of course, that Carver was going up for three, and I'm no doubt that he was from three-point territory. Another foul on Weldon, but that is only the fifth team foul on VCU. So again, Old Dominion must play it in from side court. So that's been their advantage. They've had these for these fouls to give and they've been giving them and it's been good on their part to use them here. 30 seconds left. 
Here's Jackson missing. Tipped out. Inside. Gadling's got it. He'll put it in. Got it. Not hold a minute. So Gadling now ups his point total to 22. That makes it a four-point game at 53-49. And a good job there now. They got the quick basket. They can reset their defense. And obviously, they're going to try to go for the steal. There's a four point difference right now with 21 seconds on the clock. So you want to go for the foul. But first, try to get that steal. Try to get a loose ball. Taking a look at the Old Dominion huddle and the VCU Rams huddling around Sonny Smith. And so often, it comes down to. Free throw shooting. Let's see what Sonny's got to say. Sonny's got to run up the sideline, and you pay. Now, when you get it down here, of course, one plank in that VCU defensive plan is to defend the three pointer. They'll give Old Dominion the layup and try not to allow that three-point shot, even though it's a four-point game. Just 21 seconds left. They got to make sure they get the ball in bounds. They do. There it is. Bacon and a quick foul. 20 seconds left now. The foul on Donald Anderson. And that was perfect because they got the ball to their best free throw shooter, Lionel Bacon. Lionel Bacon is a fellow who's not afraid to step up the pressure. I've seen him many times hit big shots. In fact, the last second shot against Western Kentucky, and he's got the ability, and he's a cool customer, and I, I would expect him to make these free throws. He's missed two in a row, and is one for three tonight. But B, he's hit some big shots for VCU as a sophomore, a buzzer beater, won a game at Western Kentucky. Big free shot for Lionel Bacon, his eighth point of the game. That makes it a five-point lead. Now Bacon with the bonus. This one's good also. Okay, Nine points for Lionel. Need a quick attempt, and it's got to be a three. Evans bottled up, hands it over to Jackson. Keith will take it and miss it. Rebound to the corner. It's out of bounds. The ball belongs to Old Dominion. Just eight seconds left. Old Dominion has one timeout remaining. Now VCU is going to take a timeout. Eight seconds left. VCU 55 and Old Dominion 49. And we'll be back with the closing seconds from Scope in just a moment. The VCU Rams just eight seconds away from their third road win of the season. Winning at Jacksonville in overtime and winning at James Madison. They lost a tough one at Virginia Tech in overtime. And on their way to victory tonight, let's see what Old Dominion could do here. They've got a three-pointer. Evans gets it in. Anderson from the corner. No. Rebound Jackson. Keith out to Evans, but that's going to be the ball game as the horn sounds. And VCU has won it in Norfolk. The final score from Scope tonight is VCU 55 and Old Dominion 49. A victory that gets the Rams record in the conference to two and two, and they've won three of their last four road games. The Old Dominion Monarchs preseason Sunbelt favorites fall to two and three in league play, and now six and eight in all games. A marvelous game plan executed just almost to perfection by VCU tonight. And Kevin Grevy is standing by with winning coach Sonny Smith. Sonny, just an outstanding performance by your guys. You came here on the road and got another win. I thought it was just that you just out hustled and outplayed Old Dominion. Well, we were patient. And it's new for us. And we're learning. And we're going to get a little better at it. We made some awfully big shots. We made some awfully big free throws. And we shut Gatlin down a little bit with a kind of a freaky type zone. I don't want to get like Dale Brown, say a freak, but it's a, it was kind of a freaky type zone, but it's a great win for our team. Great win. Your defense was also able to shut down Anthony Carver. He's an outstanding three-point shooter. You were running at him. The shooter was not yes. able to get a, a good look at the basket. Well, if he gets his feet planted, he's as good as there, there will be in this league. So we got to him right before he got his feet planted, ran by him, 
and we also got some early fast break baskets and then we got the game slowed down to where we wanted it it was just a super win for us so we, we're not as good as this ball club so I'm going to take this one and be really happy well, it looks like the kids were really mentally prepared for this game they were active they were out playing Old Dominion beating them on the boards and uh, it was just a good effort by all the guys the verbal abuse that they went through at the pre <laughs> at the pregame meeting was enough to get anybody ready to go because we have been playing We've been playing up and down basketball, and we're capable of playing better basketball than we're playing. And we just got to get to where we can win a game at home as well as on the road. Well, you're doing a great job and got a good start at it. Thank you. Thanks it's a lot, Sonny. Continue to good success. Let's go back now to Bob Rathman for the wrap-up.